Have you ever wanted to power loop your DJI Avada 2, like the FPV Freestyle Pros? Well, now you can, sorta. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the process of updating your firmware on your DJI Goggles 3. The much long awaited fixes for the DJI 3 goggles have come out today. So today we're getting those changes. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the DJI Fly app and let's see what updates are available. And I'll walk you through that process so you can now power loop and have some kind of added benefits for stabilized, enhanced landings as they call it so uh, and, and also those other fixes that they don't want to admit to here we go so the first step in this firmware update as many of you know is to download the dji fly app install it on your ios phone or your android phone once you have that installed go ahead and open up the app now go ahead and grab a battery that's fully charged for the update Grab your USB-C cable and go ahead and plug that into the bottom of the goggles right by the power button. Now go ahead and grab your phone and plug the other end into the bottom of your phone. Go ahead and turn on your Motion 3 controller. Press once, press again. Okay, so once the drone is on, the goggles are on, and your controller is on, it should load up to this screen. If you don't see this, go ahead and disconnect your USB cable and plug it back in. And it should load up. If it doesn't, you might need to rebind your goggles to the aircraft and possibly your controller. So we're going to wait just a second and you'll see that it comes up with a new firmware update. If that doesn't happen at the top right of your screen, go ahead and click that. And when you go back, it should come up to the top right. We're going to go ahead and click install now. The new firmware for Goggles 3. And it's going to take us through that process. It probably should be about 5 to 10 minutes to completely download and install this update. If you want to click on more, it'll show you a little more information about the download and what they've added in this new firmware version and give it just a second for the download to start you should be on your home wi-fi to do this download should only take a few seconds and then it'll start the installation process and as a precaution when this firmware update's done you're going to restart the drone the goggles and your motion 3 controller if your update gets stuck at around 91% or 95%, don't worry, it'll push through. It always seems to do that with these updates. But whatever you do, don't disconnect your USB-C cable at this point or you may brick the firmware. You may have to do the firmware install all over again. Worst case scenario, you have to send it back to DJI. But that's usually not the case these days. Now we're at 95% done. Now we heard the Avada 2 make a beep. It's going to go ahead and restart the Goggles 3. Now the Goggles 3 have restarted. And I don't recommend removing the Goggles 3 around to really look inside them because the USB-C can disconnect quite easily. Now we're at 99 and 100%. And now you've updated your firmware. We're going to go ahead and click Got It. Now we go back to the main screen. And you can see DJI Goggles 3 firmware is installed good job all right you did it you updated your goggles 3 with the brand new dji firmware that came out today and now you have added functions like enhanced landing procedures as well as the easy acro power loop function go inside your goggles select easy acro and now you have it on a push of a button on your motion controller 3 Word to the wise with that function, just be super careful uh, when you're doing these loops. Test it out in a big field first. Get used to how high you can go and what kind of control you have with it. Maybe we'll do some tutorials on the power loop function with the Avada 2 coming up on this channel. So if you enjoyed this channel and this firmware update and this information and you want to see more DJI tutorials, please check out the link down below and become my Patreon and support the channel. That would be awesome. And if you want to, go on our website, grab a t-shirt, and show your support for Drone Camps RC. Guys, I'm Justin Davis. Take care, happy flying, and I will see you on the next one.